What's going on YouTube? Johnny from JohnnyMarker.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way to actually do some SEO research. So, um, a few days ago, my friend actually sent me this link to a website, and it was absolutely amazing. So I figured I would share it with you guys. But before I actually do that, um, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button. And if you have any comments as you're watching the video, definitely leave those down below so I can interact with you guys. Um, this is a really, really cool tool. I've never heard of it before, so maybe if you heard of it, um, let me know. But it's called Answer the Public. And uh, let's actually just get to it right here. So on my screen, you can actually see here, it's called answerthepublic.com. Um, and what you're able to do is actually put in a keyword and it will give you different content ideas based on that keyword. Um, a lot of different keywords that I never even thought about. Um, you'll get a lot of questions that people are an uh, asking on Google. You'll also get um, all different types of metrics. So I want to actually show you this um, so that you can actually use this for your businesses, whether it's blogging, YouTube, etc. It really doesn't matter. You'll get a lot of different ideas based on what this website uh, pushes out. Um, so what you can do is here is type in a keyword. So let's just say you want to type in click funnels and click get questions. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to run the uh, API. Uh, I'm not too sure what API it uses. I believe it, it uses Google's um, most likely. And then what it does is it spits out different questions, uh, um, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. So you can see here that it actually gives you all different type of uh, content based on what people are asking. So if we click visualization this is what it shows but if we click data you can kind of get more of a um, broad broader uh, sense of things so you can see here it says are click funnels legit are click funnels good click funnels can click funnels replace your website can click funnels replace infusionsoft these are all different things that are being asked within google or, or different search engines so you can see it says how click funnels works how click funnels grew um, Quick funnels, how to delete a funnel. So these are all different type of things that we can actually build content on. Um, and then if we go even further down um, and we click on the prepositions, you can see uh, Quick funnels cancel account, Quick funnels cancel, Quick funnels Canada, Quick funnels for real estate, Quick funnels for Shopify, Quick funnels for beginners, Quick funnels for WordPress. Like there are so many different ideas. So we can actually make different videos or different blog posts based on just this, right? Quick funnels for Shopify. Click funnels for beginners. Click funnels for free. Click funnels for dropshipping. Um, click funnels for lawyers. Click funnels for nonprofits. So these are these are all different content ideas, right? Um, and then if you even go further down, you can see comparisons. Click funnels in Shopify. Click funnels in Infusionsoft. So you can do a video or like a blog post on Click funnels versus Shopify. Click funnels versus Infusionsoft. Click funnels versus Mailchimp, etc. And just go all the way down. You have so many different type of videos that you can make. And you can literally do different keywords for different programs. So you can go like, for example, if you scroll down here, this is just a quick little tangent, <laughs> but this is something that you can really do that can really um, improve your content is, so for example, if you see that someone is looking up ClickFunnels and, or ClickFunnels and for example, let's say, uh, let's say um, Infusionsoft. So you can say ClickFunnels versus Infusionsoft and then you can literally go and type in the keyword Infusionsoft into the same program and see what people are asking about Infusionsoft. And then you can make videos about Infusionsoft so you can actually promote different programs like that. Um, so you can promote ClickFunnels, you can promote um, all these different lead gen pages like, um, I can't even think of them, <laughs> like lead pages obviously. Um, there's a few out there, I have to unbalance. There's um, Builderall, there's a few others. So. You can see here, ClickFunnels or Kajabi, ClickFunnels or lead pages, like I was talking about. Um, and literally all Builderall, like all these different videos you can make on. Um, different videos you can make about ClickFunnels. So, and then if you really want to take it to the next level, you can see there's um, the alphabetical. So it literally will uh, type in the keyword that you have, but sort it by letters. So ClickFunnels blog, ClickFunnels backpack, ClickFunnels book, ClickFunnels bootcamp, etc. ClickFunnels examples, um, ClickFunnels founder, like all of these different things based on the letters of the alphabet, and then you can have even more content based on these um, these keywords. These are all keywords, right? Look, this is the V one. This is really this is really uh, powerful. ClickFunnels versus lead pages. ClickFunnels versus Builderall. ClickFunnels versus Shopify. ClickFunnels versus WordPress. Right? Um, literally, these are you can make videos on every single one of these and have uh, the inverse. So right, so lead pages versus ClickFunnels. Builderall versus ClickFunnels. Shopify versus ClickFunnels. WordPress versus ClickFunnels, etc. Um, and 
you, you can see these are literally things that people are typing in. You, and I can tell that this is actually legit because it has click from Wasabi. Wasabi is something that was announced about a month or two ago by Russell and Todd, um, the, the co-founders of ClickFunnels. And this is something that's really recent. So this is something that people are actually looking looking up because they just mentioned it. So this is very, very cool. This is accurate. So you can definitely get a lot of um, keywords or ideas based on the, the keyword that you put in here. And I thought this was so cool because I never saw saw this website before. And I, I know you know I know a lot of websites, but this was brought to my attention by one of my friends, and I was just like, whoa, like, this is so powerful. Um, one thing that I did uh, actually find, found out is if you are using Chrome, I'm not in Chrome right now, I'm actually in the Brave browser, but if you are using Chrome, you can download the uh, extension called Keywords Everywhere. Um, and what it will do is it will literally show you based on these uh, keywords here, it will literally say how what's the search volume for each of these uh, long tail keywords or just the keyword in general. Um, so you can literally see, oh, how many people are searching? It's just an estimate, but it also gives you some, you know, at least some type of um, data that you can kind of go by to see what people are searching. Um, so that's just a pro tip that if you want to kind of see what the search volume is for these particular keywords, you can definitely do that by using keywords everywhere. So I just want to make this quick video. It's not super long, but this is something that you can definitely use no matter what you're promoting, you kind of get ideas. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with is actually finding out ideas for um, their 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 blogs or for their YouTube videos, you can literally use a site like this um, to really get a lot of content, and then you could just download the C CSV um, and then literally use my. I actually have a um, a YouTube organizational sheet that I, I I believe I made a video on. If I didn't make a video, I'll I'll, I'll leave the link down below. Um, but you can definitely get a whole bunch of videos and literally have videos for like the whole entire year. Um, and like I said, you get free. Uh, 10 free um, searches per day so you can just do 10 keywords in a day get a whole bunch of content and then you know wait tomorrow to get an, another ba batch of content so this is something that you should definitely be uh, looking out for it's super cool um, it's called answer the public I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out but I just want to make a quick video thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and hit that alert button um, I'll be posting a lot of content coming soon, so um, I'm really excited about it. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.